Okay, so whether she's legit or not, it depends on the situation. Totally depends on the situation. Are you trying to have her come to you, which is an out call? If you are, I can understand why she's asking for a deposit. It's to be sure she's not wasting her time. So a lot of times if you contact a provider and you're looking for her to drive to you, she might ask you to send a little sum sum to be sure that you're not a time waster because believe it or not, on the provider's end, it is a lot of time wasters that we go through. If she's asking for a deposit and you're the one coming to her, it really depends on the provider and it also depends on the site. Some high-end, highly sought after providers might ask for a deposit, like if you're looking to book an appointment so they can be sure that you're gonna show up for your appointment because a lot of times people make appointments and they don't show up for their appointment and it'll be other people calling, looking for that specific time, but then they close that specific time off because they have because they booked you. Like I say, it could depend on the site, it could depend on the location and it could depend on the provider. I've had times where like I'm working really hot areas, um, areas that are really busy. It's busy with a lot of clients and it's also busy with a whole lot of police, you know. But at the time I was having the balls to work certain hot areas. There was a lot of money over there, a lot of clientele over there. So my strategy, what I would do in like a really, really hot area is when they get there, I would ask for like a $5 cash app or whatever. You know, um, the police, they cannot cash app you. So I would, you know, ask for a $5 cash app. Some people would leave, some people would stay, but it was so many people calling and I was over there getting so much money that it didn't matter anyway. And if you really wanted to see me, why can't you send a $5 cash app, you know? for my safety, for my comfortability. Another reason why a provider might ask for a deposit, it depends. Is this a same day appointment or are you one of those people calling, looking to book sometime for next week? You gotta understand, you know, a lot of, pro a lot of providers, they have kids. So if I'm gonna book a babysitter and everything and make sure I'm dressed, make sure I got everything that I'm gonna wear and I'm ready for our meetup. I wanna know that we're actually doing this and you're not gonna cancel or it's not gonna be anything weird. So if you're looking to book me for next week, yes, I would ask for a deposit. Now that we got the legit situations out of the way, we can get to situations that I feel like really could be scammy, you know? Um, if you contact a provider and you're looking to go to her and when you get there, she asks for half the donation up front to me. Yes, that sounds a little scammy. If you book an out call and before she even leave out, she asking you to send the full donation for the out call. Yes, that sounds scammy. Other than that, for the most part, I think I covered the most common situations where girls ask for a deposit up front. Um, if you think I missed any situation or if you are in a different situation, please comment down below. I just came here real quick to cover this topic and thank y'all for tuning in.